this has been such a long time coming. I have not posted a video in I think about three years. Long overdue. I was inspired the other week. I've been to the shops. I've got some goodies. Went to B&M and I got some lovely, lovely things. Let's just get started in showing you what I've got to talk about. Where shall I start? Um, let's start with this wonder cream. This is an instant glow reviver for a smoother, rejuvenated complexion. Vegan, apply AM and PM to boost your skin's natural radiance. Ooh. It says it's magic in a jar powered with green tea, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. Indulge in a dreamy blend of natural botanical extracts and antioxidants to help rejuvenate, boost hydration and get that youthful, smooth, glowing feeling. I think the packaging just drew me in instantly because it's just as lovely it's just really really nice this is the jar that is inside it's quite minimal love a minimal look texture wise creamy not too thick it smells quite nice always get your chest as well and your neck nice instant glow reviver do i look glowy no <laughs> Then I got the W7 Glow Prime, Radiant Primer. Apparently, this is meant to be a dupe for the Wonder Filter Brightening Primer by Beauty Pie. Similar packaging in the sense that it's pink. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Glow Prime. Probably got far too much there, but this could be interesting. Oh, I've got way too much. Okay, a little goes a long way with that. Ooh, wow. I suppose it is kind of glowy. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of a kind of glow, but you're not like sparkly. Okay, so that was the primer. Oh, it's actually left me really soft. That could be from the moisturizer or both. And this smells really nice as well, actually. Okay. I'm assuming this is meant to be a dupe for some sort of benefit product. We've got a highlighter, bronzer, blush one of them is called honolulu which is definitely oh i think this is a, a dupe for the face palette by beauty bay i think i will insert like a clip a photo i'll insert it here so i'm gonna go in with my classic charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i use shade three neutral I'm no pro at makeup, by the way. I'm not very good at it. Let's go in with a tiny little bit of the Born This Way How to Use Sculpting Concealer. We've been waiting around for too long. I've actually been really enjoying using this setting powder, well, baking powder, Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. I always go around my eye area because I get a lot of wrinkles when I smile. Good job I don't smile that much. <laughs> Let's go in then with... Oh, I've got a few more products, but this is kind of like a face product. And I just love the packaging for this. Look how pretty it is. It's kind of like pink marble. And then inside... Oh, so lovely. Look. I assume this, oh yeah, this is blush and highlight. I guess the bottom three are kind of blushy colours. And then the top is like a highlight. If I just go in with, I don't know what brush this is. This is a light it up brush by Aura. I don't know where I got this from, but it's been my kind of go-to brush for bronzing. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. This isn't gonna be too dark. Oh, it's quite dark. <laughs> but not too much. We are only in March now, we're in March, wow. March has come around so quick, I just don't understand. A little bit on the nose. Let's try the highlight now. I'm a bit nervous, I never really use highlight. Ah, I'm using the wrong brush as well, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm no pro at makeup, so. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. dab. Wow. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Ooh. Nice. I found two different eyebrow products. One that is this Sunkissed Easy Brown Ultra Defining Tip 
pencil. Again, I was drawn in by the packaging. Let's get this bad boy out. Love that. Okay, so we've got one side, which is the brush, and one side is the pencil. Let me show the other one first, and then I'll decide which one to try today. So the other eyebrow set, I suppose, that I got is this three in one. So this is the Profusion Cosmetics Ultimate Brow Sculpt. Step one is the sculpt gel and brush, which I assume is this. Ooh, the brow gel. And then you put that on and pop, brush them into place. This is cool. We've got the brush. Even though it says dark brown, it's definitely not as dark as the one that I got from either Home Bargains or a Lidl or an Aldi three years or so ago. Just don't know which products to use. I might go for this set of three actually because it's drawn me in more. There's more fun things to use. Brush brows into place. My eyebrows really need doing actually. Really bad. Really bad in fact. I'm not even going to be able to show you a close up because we've got eyebrow hair sprouting out everywhere. Let's go in with the sculpting gel. We've got the pencil. Oh, I didn't show you the pencil. I forgot. So this one's got a brush on one side as well, but look how tiny the pencil is. Love that. Okay, definitely using this one. I love how fine this is. You can get proper little hair stroke effects from it. I'm just gonna go in with a tap and then again, you can build it up. Okay, I don't really like the sculpting gel because you can kind of just see it. You probably can't see it, but I can see it in the mirror. It makes my eyebrows look like they've got dandruff, which isn't actually the look that you're going for, really. <laughs> then we've got a mascara, the W7 Forever Lashes Extra Volumizing Mascara. Nice brush. Okay, very subtle. One thing that I do quite like about it is it's not clumpy, but it separates your eyelashes quite well. Not bad. And then, finally, this isn't anything I bought from B&M. NYC lip pencil in a shade nude pink. And then, we're gonna go in with an old favourite. I love and don't like this at the same time. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped Liquid Lipstick. So it is definitely matte. I've had this for quite a long time. It is like fully matte, so I tend to let it dry and then I put some sort of lip balm or lip gloss over the top just to give it that little bit of shine. What I am actually going to do is a little bit of this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. I've actually been using it as like a little bit of a contour. That's looking I will link all of these products down below, by the way, with all their shades and prices and blah, blah, blah. I have got a W7 The Dewy Fixer Setting Spray, long lasting makeup fixer. That's quite nice. Just let that dry, just for a sec. Last thing, it is the last thing that I wanted to show you. I'm so excited about it. I don't know how it's gonna look. This is the LAL Wave Curler. And you know what drew me into this? The packaging, obviously. I just love it. I just love the look of it. So let's just delve in. <laughs> attack, attack. It's like Christmas. This is it. So yeah, the barrels are a little bit small, which is why, I mean, it could look okay. Should we give it a go? Makes me a bit nervous. Let's let that warm up whilst we read the instructions because I am I am an instructions person, you know? Take about three centimetre wide hair section. Start near the hair roots of the hair section and clamp between the barrels. Hold in place for five seconds. Release the clamp and move down the length of the hair section. Maybe I'll do the, this in two sections. Okay, ready? I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. 
Sure. This is good. I think this tip at the back you can hold and it's not too hot. Well, not hot at all actually. Which is handy. Oh my god. So these are the two bits of hair that I've done. Interesting. Might just be too small, but let's just see. When I'm in this town, look at those beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Oh. So that's interesting. Very interesting. I have to hope for the best. <laughs> We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Wow! So, <laughs> this is the look. Uh, am I a fan of it? No, I'm not a fan of it at all. Do you think I'll become a fan of it? No. We need a little trial and error with this. I've definitely gone too far up. It's interesting, it's, it's a look. It's a look of some description. My next little trial is going to be if I can sort of slightly smooth it somehow. Slightly smooth it at the top. I guess it smoothed it a little bit. This look is definitely for some people. Um, it's just not for me. If I clip it back, is it gonna be a little bit better? Now I just look like Lego Legolas from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's not too bad. I mean, it's seen worse hairstyles on myself before, but I'm not sure, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, that was a long video about all the little products that I got from b and I will link all the products down below, like I said before. So this is hours later, my battery died. I was just basically coming on one to end the video, but also just to show you my hair and makeup hours later. The hair is kind of dropped a little bit like it's kind of beachy i guess makeup wise you can definitely still see the highlighter there um, it's lasted quite well so maybe that setting spray is quite good if you like the video make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i will see you in the next video bye